Welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're going to cover the joist and rafter tool. Let's get started. To utilize the joist and rafter tool, the first thing that you're going to need to do is simply go ahead and draw around using the area tool any areas that you would like the joist to overlap. As you can see, for this example, we've already done that. Next, once those areas are drawn, simply select those areas to make sure they're highlighted and then select the Tools button located on your home bar. Once we select that, we're going to select Add Joist, and then a pop-up menu will appear. Within this menu, you can enter all the information you need, first starting with the system type. You can either select a floor system or the roof system. If you would like to see how to utilize the roof system, watch one of our other how-to videos called Roof Rafter Tool. For this example, let's go ahead and select the floor system. Next, we're going to go ahead and select a material manufacturer, the joist catalog, we're going to go ahead and select the joist size, which we're going to use a 2x12 floor joist. We'll then select our material calculation length, and we can either do none to the nearest foot or to the nearest two foot. For this example, we're going to use the nearest two foot, because that is the length that our material manufacturer will ship to us. Next, we'll select the material direction. Let's go ahead and select horizontal. We do not need a pitch, so let's go ahead and move on to the minimum material length. For here, we're going to select 8. Essentially, what we're saying is that anything 8 foot and under, such as a 2 foot, 4 foot, or 6 foot board, will be added together and then cut out of a new material length, which we will go ahead and utilize 16 foot for this example. Next, we'll select our on-center spacing. We have the choice between 8, 12, 16, 19.2, 24, and 32. For this, we're going to go ahead and key stay with the 16 inches on center. Let's go ahead and include our rim board. Let's go with a 2x12 rim board. Lastly, let's go ahead and let's select a keller. We can then enter a price per linear foot if we'd like. We can also enter in a location such as the first floor. We can also enter in a phase of construction. And lastly, we can enter in a load to determine the load that we would prefer to be shipped from our material manufacturer. And we're gonna say first floor load. Lastly, we can go ahead and adjust our transparency up if we would like, and then we can go ahead and hit start. But before we hit start, let's go ahead and let's save this so we don't have to enter this information the next time around. To do that, we simply hit the save button located, from, located to the right of the template section. If we select the save button, we can come in here and simply type in two by 12 floor joists. We can then go ahead and hit save. Now, once we hit start, it will go ahead and draw our rim board followed by our floor joists. And there we go. Now, we go ahead and continue on to the next section. To do that, all we need to do is simply select the area over here to the left. Once again, highlighting the area, select the tools button, add joist. And now, from our template section, simply select 2x12 floor joist. We can see that this is here. We can go ahead and adjust the color to something different if we'd like. And then go ahead and hit start. From here, once again, it's going to fill this information in for us. And there we go. It's just that easy. Now, we can adjust our rim board and add any double joist very, very easily. To do that, if we needed to add, for example, a double joist located here, we can simply do that by selecting the joist selecting the start button and allowing for us to go ahead and draw it out just as you would normally do with a linear. It will go ahead and add those joists for you. If we needed to delete or add any rim board, for example, if we needed to delete this rim board here to the left because it travels down through, we can go ahead and select it, hit the delete key, and then simply draw it back in. And there we go. We can once again do that for the other section over here. If we needed to, we can go ahead and delete this. And draw this in correctly here. Lastly, we can go ahead and adjust our last piece of rim board, which is this item here, by simply deleting it and going ahead and drawing it back out. And there we go. And that's how you utilize the joist and rafter tool. 
Thank you for watching today's video.